this is going to be a behind the scenes look from my latest editorial where I'm going to show you how everything came together. The mood board for this one had a really uneasy feeling with sort of some absurd elements to it and the overall color palette would be really really green almost to have this toxic feel to it. For this one I wanted to set up a whole space because I think lately I've been way too dependent on relying on the stuff that's already there and working with them so I wanted to turn that around and just um, start from scratch for this set. So the green large um, chair is going to be the next thing I'll bring in, which was something that I stumbled upon in, um, what is it called? Flea market? Yeah, in the flea market in Helsinki. And it was actually free, which was amazing. So I just, uh, I had to get my car and get it in as soon as I saw it in the flea market. It just barely fit into the car. And I'm super excited for the, just the chair alone, actually. The biggest challenge is going to be the walls for sure because I don't really like the yellow wood going on there so I need to hide that with something um, but I really want to make this quite light and also building some kind of support for them would be uh, would take too much space from the actual corner that I have <laughs> available for me here The color that I chose for this was called Jade, after looking at the color palette there in the store for a while. Um, yeah, I think it's a really pretty color. Maybe looking at it now, it could have been a, just slightly darker maybe. But that's something that I might um, be able to fix with lights and stuff. Isn't this just so much better having some paint on your fingers and just being out here doing stuff instead of all the constant hassle of dealing with pixels and just sitting uh, behind the screens and in the computers all the time. To make this all happen, our team was of course super important. Our model was called Sofia et Holland, and our makeup artist Hanna Valiakka. And they both made such a good job of making this vision come to life. The collection that we shot here is made by designer Iris Hertua and it's called Black Gold. And because the clothing line makes a statement towards the disruptions of ecosystems, I also wanted to bring some of those elements to the shoot itself. We had some plastic, for example, which we just wanted to use in a really chaotic way. The room was really dark by itself, so I had to count a lot on additional lights to make it work. I had my 43 inch octobox, which was positioned camera left, and pretty much for the whole studio they had a green gel on it. And to compensate for this green light, I had a smaller softbox, which was coming from camera right, and it had a red gel on, gel on it instead, to sort of compensate for that green. Mm -hmm. 